I bet it's a bullet gonna get the last laugh. We are about three months into the Tekken 8 lifespan and players are definitely wondering what's coming next. Some people, they do like how Eddie turned out. They feel like he's new, he's fun, he's different, he's this. Some people don't. Some people feel like Eddie is not Eddie at all. Tekken 7 Eddie and all of the knowledge and skill that comes with using that character does not transfer over to Tekken 8. And some people, once again, are wondering what comes next. One DLC character down, who will the next three be? Now, of course, people are talking about legacy characters like Armor King, Anna, Mardok, Julia, so on and so forth. But you always got to keep in mind guest characters. Often when a conversation of guest characters come up, someone who's always at the forefront of that list is Tifa. I do like to highlight on this channel, out of the three, Baki, Kirikazama, and Tifa, the Tifa conversation is just the strongest out of all of them. Since about 2020, right, the pandemic, Harada has been non-stop talking about Tifa. Like, he's just been, like, tweeting out stuff. He's been responding to people who's been tweeting out stuff. It's been ongoing for for like four years and then this what we're talking about today it really just has people excited for what's what could happen next there is first a picture here it says three people on a date in this picture alone you have harada and the legendary game developer yoshido this person has worked on many different games. They're a part of Square Enix, but as it relates to Tekken, the biggest thing that this person is known for is Tifa. Now seeing Harada and this person having dinner with one another on a date of sorts, that just got people minds racing. What are you guys cooking up? What are you guys talking about? Are you guys just having a little friendly little time? Or are you really like thinking of ideas of this and that and whatever? But it doesn't stop there. Another picture that Harada posted himself. You have a new challenger show up for this picture, Sakurai. Sakurai is best known for being the creator of Kirby, but also Super Smash Bros. Now, of course, in the past, Kazuya was made a guest character for Super Smash Bros. And I thought for Tekken 8, we should get one of their characters. You know, a Toon Link, a Lucario, a Captain Falco, a Ganondorf, a Mario. Some characters are way more likely than others because some are not as iconic. But I think when you just talk about the entirety of Smash roster, having one of those characters come over would be really cool to see how the Tekken development team implement them into the game. Because Smash is very different mechanically than Tekken. How does the up smash work? How does the character ability to like double hop, triple hop work in Tekken? That is something I would just want to see how the developers tackle. But if we are, see, here's the thing we do got to keep in mind about guest characters. We had a total of five all across the Tekken series. All five are controversial. From Gon being half your size and he is just like an obnoxious character to fight against, according to Harada, to Negan, Noctis, Geese, and Akuma. All five previous guest characters were just monsters waiting to cause havoc. So if they put a Smash, jumping high character into Tekken, if they put a Tifa, brawling, most iconic female character, one of them, how would that turn out in terms of gameplay? It would definitely break records. It would definitely be super exciting. But what will that do for the, like the actual game experience? Once again, I go back to Eddie and how they made him a 3-3-3-3-3. He's a very streamlined, easy character. He's very simplified. Would Tifa or a Smash character even bring that level of depth and complexity that we're looking for within these characters? That's a new question that I start to ask myself, and I'm surprised that I'm asking myself that in Tekken because it's supposed to be the most complex fighting game not not hard it's not most difficult but complexity so many different moves so many different possibilities to use these moves and the developers is really taking away a lot of identity from the game so if they really brought back a character from the past or if they brought back a new guest character would they really even do them justice in this current landscape of a streamlined and simplicity I don't know. That's just a question that I was asking myself personally. Comment down below. What do you think this is? Just a dinner? Do you think they're planning something?